It's also about regeneration of many areas of our cities that has to be multi-centered and change the traditional approach. And on this, I want to introduce with Giuseppe Banfio, Fondazione Cariplo, a project which is underway in uh, Milan, which is really interesting. So pr please, Banfi. Thank you. MIND uh, is an acronym, uh, and uh, uh, the acronym uh, means the Milano Innovation District. The district is uh, actually a new city, a new city dedicated uh, to research, uh, education, uh, industry. And uh, in this Italy, in this uh, city in Italy, the f this is the first uh, or one of the leading example of uh, new cities for science, for life science uh, with uh, many thousands of inhabitants. And uh, uh, after the global exhibition, uh, the successful event uh, in uh, Milano, the, the area was owned by uh, a public company named uh, Arexpo, and uh, uh, later a uh, big uh, estate uh, uh, specialized company, Australian company, uh, after an international call, had the management of uh, this area. And uh, there is a, a real interest and commitment of uh, different anchors, the resident, the first resident of the area, and also uh, obviously from by our expo and uh, Lend Lease. Uh, it is a real interest and commitment for uh, the, worst, uh, the, the attention uh, for worst recycling and uh, uh, to maintain uh, the low impact uh, for uh, the renovation, uh, rebuilding, uh, and the refurbishing of uh, the area. And uh, it is a silent work, uh, avoiding the greenwashing, as uh, just said our minister. And uh, besides uh, uh, our expo and uh, land lease, there are some anchors, uh, resident, and the first is uh, my hospital, and I'm a scientific director of uh, uh, Galeazzi Hospital, which is now the icon of mind because uh, uh, in the next year we will move to the new hospital, a general hospital, uh, with more than 500 beds. Uh, Galeazzi is a leading, hosp leading hospital for orthopedics and uh, is a teaching hospital with a connection with uh, agreement with the uh, University of Milano and a research hospital with an uh, uh, agreement uh, and uh, accreditation of Ministry of Health. Uh, there is uh, also the uh, Human Technopole. Human Technopole is a national based uh, research center devoted to genomics. And uh, they are building now the laboratories, but they are already re recruited uh, 200 uh, researchers, uh, top level researchers and scientists from all the world. Uh, in 2025, uh, there will be the campus of University of Milano, including all uh, scientific uh, schools uh, with the education and the research. Finally, Cascina Triulza, which is a foundation with a direct connection with the Fondazione Cariplo, is managing the local, social, and uh, uh, the social and local uh, connections uh, to uh, to avoid uh, that. Uh, the mind uh, should be only uh, an island. Uh, we have also now uh, industries. We have the so-called federated innovation, and uh, this federated innovation is including uh, companies from multi multinational companies to uh, very small uh, startups, uh, and uh, there are 35 uh, companies now, but four hundreds are affiliated to uh, this uh, federation. And uh, uh, the management of uh, services and uh, the connection and development of uh, industries and companies uh, is made uh, from, uh, uh, is made by, by a spin-off of Fondazione Cariplo named Cariplo Factory. And uh, it is a hectic work. Uh, just uh, in this week, Monday, uh, there was the presentation, for example, of uh, the presence in Europe in mind of uh, the best known accelerator, Skydeck from Berkeley, and the Fondazione Cariplo is uh, involved uh, in, uh, this, uh, uh, in uh, this development uh, and uh, in this uh, 
a very important uh, uh, job. Uh, we should uh, offer to the whole audience uh, a virtual uh, uh, travel in, uh, into the mind and uh, for some uh, participants in the, in the afternoon a real experience of uh, this area. Uh, we hope that uh, this presentation could uh, increase, uh, could, uh, uh, could stimulate and increase uh, in, in some cases uh, the connection with uh, with us, with the, the anchors of mind, and uh, different foundation in, in Italy and outside of Italy, because uh, mind is a, really an international city. Thank you. It is my pleasure to provide an update on mind, Milan Innovation District. Um, we, Lend Lease, have been part of this ideation since 2015, when the global exhibition happened in Milan. Um, at that time, we pulled together a team of leaders from science, research and development, education, government, uh, leaders in the industrial sector and not-for-profit, to come up with a vision that I can truly see ha happening and, and, and coming alive today. The vision is to create um, continental Europe uh, largest ecosystem of innovation that is connected globally to the rest of the world. It's going to be the largest for sure in Italy and it's going to be aligned to the purpose that the manifesto of the European Union has and is also aligned to Land Lease purpose. We want to create a place where research, education, uh, large companies, startups, and SMEs come together to really tackle the fundamental challenges of the world we live in. Uh, we want to create a place that matters for the people of our generation and for the people that of the future of generation want to contribute to that positive uh, long-term legacy. Uh, we want to attract talent and be a place where global talents want uh, to come, work, live, and, 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 and uh, play. And we want to help and develop uh, the knowledge economy throughout uh, continental Europe. We achieved planning on the project in a record speed, and we were able to design a system called Federated Innovation that brings together companies from different sectors to collaborate in to bringing innovation forward. Um, there is a strong interest and we are measuring strong interest from the institutional financial investors um, that is matched by the interest that we are um, currently collecting from large uh, corporations from around the world on, on the interest to come and innovate in mind. They are talking to us about bringing headquarters, uh, innovation teams or even a project. And that, for us, is the fundamental component of how innovation happens. Innovation truly it becomes disruptive and, and a game change when you actually put together a sector of knowledge with different industries that are contributing to a change. Um, and so, in mind, through the Federated Innovation, we have designed the systems that allow what we call cross-pollination, so different sectors coming together to work on a single challenge. Um, and this is actually accelerating the innovation processes and actually bringing uh, ideas through. An example today, we're working with leaders in the life science sector that are working together with logistic partners, that are working together with data scientist partners, that are working together with uh, retailers to actually change the way uh, what is called the patient journey is currently lived. So it's a great example of that. Lendly's is also benefiting of these ecosystems and we have started to work on different projects that uh, are in the process of being uh, developed with partners that we would have never uh, thought about getting uh, close to and, and starting a, a joint development uh, with. So it's a great opportunity, it's a great demonstration and despite the complexity of the period we lived in, has only accelerated. So we're very confident on the future of this opportunity. Before asking Nadia and Alan to share with us our 
um, progress on the operations and our sustainability target on the project. I would like to um, also share that the project and the ecosystem of innovation is also being instrumental to actually look at our social outcome or social targets. Uh, we're currently in the process of raising a urban impact fund, uh, which will be instrumental uh, for uh, using innovation as well to change, improve and accelerate our ability to provide uh, a social outcome and a positive contribution to the communities and the society we work in. So it's a great tool uh, that we are uh, in the process of, um, of developing. Um, so thank you. Ciao, buongiorno. I'm Alan Bates and I'm here at our Mind Project in Milan, the site of the World Expo in 2015. This month we start our demolition works in preparation for next year's main build on the Westgate phase one of the project. Being the Mind Innovation District, we pride ourselves on doing everything with an innovative approach. Not least, do we enjoy the involvement of global, European and local companies that have already signed up to our trademarked Mind Federated Innovation model, but we also enjoy the best of Lend-Lease technology and services through the podium approach. We've already have a digital twin of our first buildings, which enables us to test before we build with our global and local supply chain that we're currently discussing details of how to get the methodology and logistics into the design at the early stage. We also, from the near future, will benefit from MX Studios being positioned here at Mind to service the European business. So when you put these components together with also our design for manufacture and assembly principles that are embedded in our emerging design, you can see that we're targeting huge benefits from a safety perspective in terms of designing using the technology that's available to us. In the future, as we broaden the use of the podium services, we will also be able to embrace the themes of operational building functionality, efficiencies in building usage and comfort and safety of the end users in our buildings. And for those pieces, we look forward to sharing details in the future. Thank you. Hello from the MIND site in Milan. MIND is the first development in Italy that considers climate change scenarios and that has embedded in the design of its asset climate resilient solutions. Building on the divide of the land lease climate change scenario planning workshop and with a strong desire to innovate, the MIND team committed to develop a roadmap to carbon zero and the climate change projection and impact study for the site. The initial integrated climate and carbon workshops attended by energy, water, mobility, landscape, and master planning teams using RCP 8.5 scenario, identified the top two climate risks for the site, temperature rise and urban flooding, and the residual carbon to be offset. In spite of the high performance design we already had as initial baseline. Data modeling indicates that by 2090, in Milan, the heat stress will increase five times compared to today, and we will have a 20% increase probability of heat waves. Severe drought will be up to 70% and a 24% precipitation increase. The climate modeling and the temperature landscape were very effective in conveying the impact on urban comfort. The results captured the attention of the executive, which immediately provided the nine team with a strong and clear message on the need of achieving 100% decarbonization of the site. MIND, which is still in the early stages of design, is already responding to the challenge with two major infrastructures, 100% grid decarbonization and a nature-based infrastructure. This is a water system that is an element of the energy strategy, works as a rainwater collector, 
as an eco corridor and has leisure and comfort value as a strategic element of the design of the public rail. Thank you. Well, thanks again, Professor Banfi and Lin Lise for presenting MIND, which is one of the projects that are reshaping the future of Milan. And it's, again, another example of putting words into deeds.